I'm all alone. No, I'm not. Don't worry. Um, so. If this investigation ends like an hour, like if it lasts an hour or something, who knows? If this investigation lasts for a good amount of time, we will save the trial for next time. But that's all I gotta say. All I know is, um, I think it's best to just, um, maybe let the trial for next time? I don't know. I just think because of like how long the investigation, how long the uh, trials are, I feel like tri the trial for this one's gonna be a long one. So I think I might just um I think I might just make this stream just the investigation. So. Yeah. Hey. Wrapping up this investigation. And next time will be the trials. Um. Now that depends. Trials. If this investigation is short, then we'll do the trial. But if this investigation is really long and then a good amount of length, then I will be, um. I will do the trial for Friday. And I don't know how, but part of me believes that this may be the the next trial is gonna be a long one. It's like we're at the end. And uh I'm gonna be honest, the game that I plan to play after this one was not supposed to happen. It was more likely a planned thing. So yeah, but I'll I'll think about it. And other than that, um, it's it's all up in the air. I don't know if I will do like some streams on like after playing after finishing this game. I just don't know. I just don't know. But, yeah, prepare for one. Prepare for like some. After Trials and Tribulation, just prepare for some. Like. Something, I guess. Like some random streams. Um, I don't know if I'll play Hall Cure or. I'll probably try Power World, because I never. It's like Pokemon, but I'm not. I don't know. Maybe because of like popularity. Who knows? Um, maybe get an impact. I never, I never tried against you before. I never actually played any Gacha a lot. I actually never played any mobile games since Regalia Lost was shut down. Um. That's basically all. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's in store for me. But like to just fit like a tiny frame of time. If I um, I want to look at the calendar for this month. The calendar means because um, this month is a really interesting month. Depends. Because, um. I don't know. I just have. I got. I, I got 
come up with something. That's all I got. That's all I'm thinking about. So I'll think about it. Now, um, let's start. Let's start. The investigation. Last stream there was a lock. Now there's more. And here we thought there was gonna be a second body discovery. Right. Is this what Gold was talking about? Yeah. Trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeware, I'm afraid I can't. For me, what? During the earthquake, when the camera was in danger of caving in, I was escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. Only I was stronger. Yeah. Duh. We got some new evidence. Starting with the hanging scroll. It's now covering gravy, as we see Faye. Next up. Is this curry master tells me. And the real time for the name of the real victim. Elistina. But her real name is Missy Faye. The mother, Maya, Mia, and Maya Faye. So, that's all we got, but we still don't know who the murderer is. Maya is currently missing, and Pearl is actually was in the found in the air temple the whole time. Odd, but only one way to find out. I think I know who might be the real killer. Is we haven't met this person, so this is actually we need like a lot of proof. Actually. Iris. Today we're gonna find out her true identity as you saw the title. We will find out. Now know more about the victim. Just gotta figure out who's a real killer. Andrew, how are you feeling? Look a little pale in the face. Like you're like you're one to talk with your face all green. Miles Edra, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip of your on yourself. Don't be ridiculous, I'm perfect fine! There's no time what sort of mistakes you can make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edra. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Edgeworth. Earthquakes are not his things. That's so much pride that he's probably off crying in the corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix, right? I'm going to stay here and see if I can help solve these bothersome puzzles. Let's see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then. You mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No. Not at all. Escape. <laughs> 
Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by a strong earthquake we had. Wait, wait, why is my... I'm not even with my mouth. If I... Oh, God! Daytime right now. I don't know why I turn my light on. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. Can't tell how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern. It was alright, but now the problem is the locks. But what? I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put. On the sacred caverns, Dornan. Hmm. Well, the world would do something like this. Trick lock. These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the current tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple. Princess Gavon Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. And one lock made by ours. I look like I'm twitching. Now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. Real killer. They wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. This will do for camera. Simply because they want to make sure Maya couldn't get out. Couldn't get. Wait, why is my wait? Ah, why? My camera. Why is the face recognition? There we go, camera. I mean, my left eye for some reason. Um, this is the this is the angle I used to do, but. Why she always says, guys, because otherwise, you always end up like me. You always end up like, why is it adjust side adjust? Okay, I think this is perf. How it there, 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 there. 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 There! 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 Uh... It's like I'm squid- It's like- It's like I'm squinting. Okay, this is a yeah, this is the perfect angle. Okay. Well that's just some time wasted on that. Ah uh. Scuff. Simply because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. Couldn't get out what the heck? Precisely couldn't get out. Presumably why because they wanna get how, why is the presumably why they couldn't get out? This, presumably what? Wait, why am I clapping my hand? Why am I clapping my hands for? Um. 
Camera. Camera. Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... Okay, wait. Presumably why... Ah... Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... Presumably why... This means... Let's... Let's try this... This is where... Doing some work. You know, it's not easy being green. Did I just said I did. Did I just immediately say it's not easy being green? Oh gosh, it's worse. Oh gosh. Okay. I don't know why. Really sorry for the medium scoff that happened. It's just I want to make sure. Okay, let's test this. Now let's test this. Now let's test. Oh. Uh. What is this actually? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I don't know why. I guess the lighting. See, that's the lighting. I actually do need the lights on. I was gonna only open the one of the locks, the first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Eh, no, wait, don't calibrate, get There we go. Ah. Ah. What? Irish, try to think, please. Is there any other way around this? Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. Suppose if you went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But it'll take time, won't it? Yes, a whole day, if I had to guess. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do it for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. I'll wait another day? Hey there, Maya. I'm going to have to call on your inner strength now. No one, Iris? Still one thing I don't quite get. Don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? Well, and what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I have no idea what's going on with to Subio today. I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in the, your room at House of Kura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen at that same evening at the Inner Temple. Then... You were spotted to see the crime in Hazakura Temple too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. It's to think about time to tell us the truth. The truth. Oh. Do it. Some 
something going on here that we don't know about. We got to find some clues and then we continue on. I'm getting to the bottom of this case. How now is to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. This is the bikini, Ezra of Gumshoe. Pearl. Let's start with the garden. How's there so homey in the place? They look pretty nervous. I'll be nervous too. That'll be a tough job. Especially with someone giving me you the evil eye the whole time. Who have done that? Oh. I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Hey! Neither run don't you dare run away! What do you want, right? What do I want? If you, you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away! I was ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. Even because of the rain and blood, it has been in the snow. Exactly. As you know, those things could have been planted here after murder. Surely, you suspect Maya, do you? you? Have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya. As well as Iris. It's our job, right? So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No. Though, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. Still, the ground gives even the slightest tremor. I find myself short breath. 17 years ago, we were little school kids at the same elementary school. Ezra found himself in the middle of a murder. Start with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Stop in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. With a private oxygen, we passed out. That's when it happened. A single gunshot. Shattered my whole life. Lost everything that day. All because of the earthquake. Dreams, family, and myself. More than 17 years now. That case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You think I don't know that? It was there, but. Such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. Sorry, Ray. There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. 
Edgeworth. You're stronger than you think. So no more of this self-pity, okay? Now let's talk about Iris. There was something that bothered me when about her from the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her someone before. No, wait. No. No, wait. No, wait. Not somewhere. Felt like I'd seen her in court before. You went back to the criminal affairs department to look for a file? Yes. Checked over every case file I ever worked on. I was right. I hadn't seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago? My first appearance in court. As the case goes, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? I'm sorry, Ryan. Can't give that information away to the member of a general public. What? Why not? It might be a crucial piece of puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and the house of Kurt Temple. Not into the case. No. That woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Related? Yes. Say that with complete confidence. Wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. You need to fill out Edgeworth in. You need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Pearl was trapped on the side of the river on the night of the murder. Did she tell you anything? Listen, right. She's just a kid. Can't force things out of her. You have to be the one to find out what she knows. It was Mia. One of the biggest names in the world law. As I'm sure you, you'll agree. Better for worse. Only destined to meet once in the courtroom. No. I heard all about it. First time for both of us. Two novices. Two novices. Novices. I don't know how to pronounce it. Head to head. I still can't remember how down hard I felt after that trial ended the way I did. It went the way it did. What if Mia felt the same way too? What Golo? Here's something of a legend I hear. Don't say it like you don't know anything about him. Tell me what you know. It's a bit strange, actually. If he really was anything special, you should have heard of him, about him by now. I'm always well informed about the rookies coming into the prosecutor's office, you know. And you mean... He isn't anything special? <laughs> you should already know the answer to that. Although... There's one other possibility. What's that? You have come into the profession, you know. A different channel. A different channel. It's more than one way to become a prosecutor, right? Perhaps he started off as a defense attorney. But decided it wasn't for him. A defense attorney? I didn't even know you could decide like that. So. Same as always. Hope you'll tell me if you know something about our mystery woman, right? I that at least Dina was an ordinary visitor to the temple. Sure, then it could be a useful weapon for the defense. You can get that away just like that. Uh... What do you have to say about Larry? Apparently, I've become something of an apprentice to at least Dina. 
Yes. Something like that. Look at this portrait from me earlier. That's great! Let's just leave it at that, about Larry. Alright? Looks like someone's still mad at the bus for his performance in court today. More than a year since I last saw Francisco myself. It seems as that she's been dying to see you again. Did she really said that? I believe she wants to eat you for breakfast. Or simply put, would be silly. Literally, Emma Borkley. Oh. Go on. Let her have her way. We'll make this for a great. Answer though about my trip. Forget it, Edgeworth! Okay, so... It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. I'm gonna find Larry there sulking again. All right, Larry. Or not. All right, Pearl, you're our only hope. <coughs> Choke on water. Missing me. Pearls, what are you doing here? Nothing. What about Missing Maya? Is she all right? Um, well, we don't know yet. Hey, what are you doing here, Nick? Larry! This is the loser's shack, where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick, Mr. Lawrence did a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. We're going to get our firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten potatoes over our miserable little campfire. Stay out of our way! I don't believe this. We can't try getting fired up over becoming a better man. No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I got nothing to say, to you Nick. My life's here now with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What am I going to do with him? All right then. What do you think about this picture, Pearl? Uh, I think it's really well drawn. I draw it all, so I think it's really amazing. See, someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? Let me cry my throat for a second. I don't know why my throat is not... I don't know why my throat is not today. I don't know if my throat is doing 100%. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. One little fancy. No, no, no. It wasn't a dream. She really flew. I'm telling you, ours really flew that night. Mr. Lawrence. It's not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Nope, you're a loser. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. I mean, you you kind of are. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. Well, I was wide awake after the lightning struck. I saw what I saw. It was exactly I, like I drew in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch as face, at face value. Hey, what's with the look of doubt on your face? Um, pearls? Yes, Miss Nick. We need to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you? What exactly happened? 
And what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... Oh no, Pearl... I'm sure it really doesn't matter what I was doing. Does it, Miss Nick? Pearl... Sorry, Pearls, but yes it does. Deny the murder. You were supposed to be in Miss Dina's room. Reading a book together. But... Miss Dina was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Eh. Don't, Pearl. Which is what exactly happened that night. Pearls? Lock. Hey, sorry, Mr. Nick. Yep. We had to f we had to find out for ourselves. Another five locks? What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power... It has disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? What do you think your powers have disappeared, Pearls? All over for me. A spirit meter who can't channel spirits is like... A painter who can't paint. Hey! What are you looking at me for? I don't know, Larry, you... What's this? I I don't know what's this, but that yeah, she did a perfect comparison to you. Pearls, did you try to challenge someone's spirit right here at the Hazakura Temple? Try but fail, perhaps? Uh... Aw, way to go, Nick! You made her cry. That that was really cool of you. <laughs> As I thought, I'm going to have to break her psych locks to get the truth out of her. I'll be back, pro. Let's head to main gate. I don't know if Bikini's back at the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. The Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Well, let's see. Eh, uh, but so what's happened? Well, what's the damage? How's this is sick cabin? Oh yeah, we we haven't given her the answer. It looked like it survived. We have a bigger problem now. What's this beginning all about it? But the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who? Who have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the current tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Mr. Bikini. Oh, yes. We're in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me how the Master of Korean disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Faye suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise. No, I mean Mystic Misty. Arrived. She showed me the talisman that proves she was the master, she said. Someone's trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. I'm here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There's only one heir to the title of master at any time. It's usually the eldest. That child become the new master of Korean, and her daughters, the main family. All other means become branch family members, with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed the, throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have, and always will, plot to erase those the main family line. Why the master worth so much bloodshed? Technique, don't you, Mr. Ryan? You know his power is real. Yes, I do. Two years since I met Maya. That time I seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the mass mass case. And during the Maggie Bryce trial, too. 
thinks of Maya. He is always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. Korean channeling technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead? That's true psychic power, you know? The purpose of the tradition has always been there, behind every important leader. We respect such a tremendous skill. I suppose so, but with all the power and influence, I would have expected you to be really rich by now. I say we poor, Mr. Wright. <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. Mistake? What mistake? 17 years ago, that's when everything came crashing down. The DL6. Is she talking about what I think she is? Shut the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. I was called the DL6 in the name of the file. Well, all of it's coming together. All of it is just coming together. The Faye family, the DL6, Phoenix is evolving all of it. Do it. DL6 incident. You know it well. Handle a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. The murder took place 17 years ago. The murder of Ezra's father. The first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. They hired Misty Faye. And he was channeling the spirit, making the spirit to learn the identity of the murder. The medium from the channeling was Missy Faye, Maya's mother. The mystic Miss, Missy Channeling, the name of a certain man surface. Along with that as evidence, the investigators were superb to action. That man was found not guilty. Wasn't he? Yanni Yogi. The one who was suspected as a killer. Edra's father was right. As his father said, Yanni Yogi didn't kill him. It was. Manfred von Karma. But he was gotten away from it. That's right. He was. The case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. The first case in the world has ever seen the Korean, traditionally op Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary. Airy. People of Korean Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Mui, Missy's powers were a sham. And she just disappeared. Vanished. But everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth! Missy Face Spirit Channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. The new master wielding the power of the clan. She mean Maya? Now we get to the family feud. The spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique isn't in the blood. I Maya, Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We the woman of the Fae clan have always been spirit mediums. Because of the power to communicate with spirits flowing strongly through us. Once in my only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Miss from Misagami. With each new generation, only one daughter becomes a new master. Thirsty. The one who, the ones who don't, comes branch families, right? That's right. It's always the cause of tragedy. No, Maya has a sister too. No sister named Mia. Oh yes, I heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. Lost her life. As a result. 
You know what, Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mother and her aunt. That's right. And Steve Faye had an elder sister too. Morgan Faye. And Steve having superior powers. Managed to absurd the master seats master seats from her seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Person who was in the last game, Justice for All, was an accomplice. Morgan? Here's a name I know well. It's a year ago now, at Maya's home, Korean Village. What she did was terrible. But all she could make her own daughter the next master. Framing Maya for murder. Morgan became an accomplice. Only one person to kill someone. As well as you can know about Mystic Morgan's daughter. You must have already realized that Iris. Huh? Iris? What's Iris gonna do with any of this? That Iris is. This is what? That is. I need so many clothes. There is so much stuff coming happening here. What the? There's so much stuff. This is so. This is something else. Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? So, Morgan has two daughters? Then... But wait, then who's... Melissa Foster's on Dally Hart though. Dally Hart though looks... Iris looks something like Dally Hart though. Who is she? Who is this? Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It's not like you met one of Mrs. Morgan's daughters already. I have! I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls! Pearl Fay! Well, I always thought she was an only child. You just that child. She's Mrs. Morgan's. I had no idea. Mrs. Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was founded to be a co conspirator in the murder case last year, accomplice. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. I see. I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three. What? What? The, 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 three? 
Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? Twin si- Twenty years ago, what the heck is going- What's going on? At the clan leadership, was taken from her by her sister. Sick Morgan's life crumbled. It was many years later that the Korean reputation hit an all-time low. Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. He left her in the village and taking their twin dogs with him. Oh, awful! He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give up on one of his girls up to be looked after by us here. It was Iris, you see. If Iris had a twin sister... Um, can you tell me more things, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. A jeweler. Thank you very much. You helped clear up a lot of details. Pearl has two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin dogs were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream of that to have a child of hers one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls. It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. They was to break free of the bars that could find her. So Iris has a twin sister? Plot thickens. Information would be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. Ask more questions and get some more info. Morgan Fay, older of Misty Fay and mother of Pearl and Iris, and a twin sister. Morgan Fay's daughter and Iris' twin sister, and. Pearl's older. Like someone's happy. Is it Gumshoe? Oh yeah, it's Gumshoe. Wait, why does Gumshoe have like written a computer? The murder, the crack, the murder, the crack, sing it with me, the murder, the crack. I remember when we used to search in the channel link group in Korea. I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what I investigate. That's not what investigating is all about. Investigate, investigate, but love investigate. It's a passion. Good cases. We have good cases. We lost. Look the way I can't say what those two That was reggae? That was reggae? Who would, who would have never guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae? Every case is gonna be airtight. Every case is gonna be airtight. Hey, Bill. Huh? Who? Me? How long have you been there? I just got here. Oh, okay. So what are you up to, Detective? I'm investigating, pal! I made a promise to Miss Edgeworth. I promise I will find the real murder weapon! Real murder weapon? That bar sword turned out to be a false lead, right? Giving my best shot here. I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. Looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. Letter? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the Aaron Temple Garden. You're talking about that bloody rain. Rain and the Lantern created series back at HQ. What? You mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find money down at the sacred cavern, you're going to be faced with one ugly situation. 
What kind of buggy situation we're we looking at here? You at me? I don't know. Not my words, pal. Then who said it? Sagoto. Goto? What do you mean by that? Okay, I forgot about that, but the letter. Oh, what the letter you found? Remind me, pal. I must be the gut here trying to find the murder weapon. So I found some burnt up a letter. Burnt up a letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? Knew it. Knew it wasn't imagining it. A rope. I just realized the rope is no longer there. It's the snow on the incinerator when the first the first I saw it. After the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator at the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure. Go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Oh, wait, hold on. Spirit mediums? Burnt letter at... It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Let's give it a good look over at something serious, though. Be sure you took it in the trash when you're done! It means a crime pill! I got more mysteries than a choose your own skin. Oh. Oh, he doesn't know about Gola's condition. Yep. I had a reason for missing the trial. Why didn't you tell anyone about it? So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichi Chido that was found impaled in the victim's body. Zerash will prove that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now? Huh? Yeah. Man, it was tiring work. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. You got the fairs of the forensics in our cat these days. Freeze the department secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? Is that the metal detector thing? It's a secret weapon of yours. Well, no. You gotta think scientifically, okay? Alright. Murder was a sword. Swords are scientifically made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. So what's the perfect two foot job? Ta da! Metal detector! I think we didn't see this coming from a mile away. Well, you wanna give a scientific investigation a go? Huh? Me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It's pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? Oh no. Did I help detect the gumshoe out or not? Yeah, why not? Come on, pal! It's good fun, I'm telling you. Alright then. Guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. The sensitive, you could make it cry. It's so high tech, you could skydive off it. Oh, brother. 
Now I'm going to tell you how to use it. Puzzle the real murder weapons around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Great, first, let's turn the detector on. Uh, just like the H just like the last game. Around and get this courtyard. Good look, see, pal. Don't worry, this baby will let you know if you hit it on something metallic. Bullseye. Take pigs up milk. Metallic objects are hidden from sight, too. Oh. I think there's something round burying the ground here. Let's touch that, pal! Huh? What is it? The trap! People set them out to catch the tank. Oh, detectives. Real nasty. Trap? For detectives? You think those fierce traps with sharp teeth that are supposed to snag your leg? Yeah, those! I got my finger cut in one of those ones! That was a bear trap. Your finger? Who's this bit of cheese? And it looks so tasty. They reach out and then, bam! Never mind, mouse trap. Like wallet. Uh huh. That's where it's been. Is it yours, detective? I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. You still dropped it, anyways. Yeah, but now I found it again, pal. Well, it's completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time. Don't put money in it anymore. Then how come the metal detector picked it up? Because of the bell, I guess. Good skis, you know, pal. There's a lot of fly down the slopes with my coat flurry in the wind. Really? I have no idea. How good are you then? Well, I'm better on skis than I'm on skates, but not as good as when I'm on snowboard. It's a pretty detailed answer. Oh, you know what I'm best at? Making mashed potatoes and gravy. This guy's losing it. Maybe the altitude. Better get back to the investigation. The slide's made of plastic. It says bikini number one in the slot. There's something under it. Hey, what's this? A, a badge? Aha! Uh -huh. I've been hunting high and low for that. Oh. It, it's yours, detective? That thing's priceless to a guy like me, pal. Cop can't be a cop without his badge. I'm sure glad I put that diamond there now. Well, you know, he has a, at least a dime in this. Pocket. How'd you manage to drop your batch here of all places? No. What been happened this morning? I was playing around with the sled and stop right there. I don't need to hear anymore. What's this? And? Hey, I've been looking over for that pot. Oh my gosh. It's yours? Yeah, my old man gave it to me when I was qualified as a detective. He told me it'd be good for sticking in suspect's face. That makes you detective sounds really nasty. Mind you to stick it in your face one day, right? Don't go losing it. Gosh, is this? That's a step. Oh, the beam! We got it. What's the difference? It looks like a normal ladder to me, pal. Who really knows the difference? I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. I'm mean, playing guys like you. Always speaking on the smallest details. Vegetable store guy near my place does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head of lettuce. That's a cabbage, he said. I'll tell you, they're the exact same thing. No, they're not. They're completely different. You have to plant both of them firmly in the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, you gotta take a step back. Look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise, you're gonna miss a really important clue. That's advice from a pro, pal. Last person I need some advice 
from is this guy in front of me. But that doesn't make sense, because... Yep. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd check it again anyway. Oh yeah, that reminds me! You know about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches of a life can take. All in has one. Yes, I heard something about that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life you've been leading up by not joining the homicide division? Think about that kind of stuff, detective? Of course I do! I think about it a lot! Me as a traffic cop, me as a detention officer, me as a blue badger... There is something to be said about the humor value of Gumshoe as the blue badger. Dean of staff, isn't it? Specifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but I mean, look at it. The thing is made of wood, all right? Unless. I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. That's the whole point of a metal detector to find metal when you can't see it? It's weird because. It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me. T here, let me take a look at it. Blade. Hey, hands up! Examine the evidence is a job for the. It is a hidden blade. Uh, the top is coming off! Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence! Ah! That's a. a sword! Inside the staff! This could it be murder weapon? Never would guess there'd be a sword concealed in this victim's staff. They go this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. Worksman is really something else. Worksman is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword. Or else the victim could stab her own foot. I can't officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind work. The real scene of crime was the inner temple garden. And why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe. Who knows about the hand sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. As they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, 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 no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course! This thing's definitely the murder weapon! Great job, pal! It's about the same length as the Shichi Cheetos, too! This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to Forensic. There's gotta be some traces of blood left. Even most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal! Every case is gonna be airtight! Every case is gonna be airtight! Where's Detective? Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. <clears throat> You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Do you mind holding it off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please. It's until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think... Budget for... Please, detective! Let's just wait until we get inside the second cavern. You're... you got a Viridian there. Okay, okay. Stop with that face, pal. One thing, though. The staff's a secret trick. Let's keep it a secret between you and me, alright? Gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything. We're finished. I understand. It's just a regular, old run of the mill stat. Got it? Okay. Now you go. Now you take good care of yourself. Now go take good care of it, pal. Oh my gosh, I've been running. Wait for it. What happened? Don't worry. She'll be fine. Come shoot. No. The place at the base of this mountain there has really got some really good pasta. How about I'll take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? Sure. Thanks.
Victim stats. As a story hit in sight, no one knows this except me and Gus. I can't help but wonder, though. What was at least Dinam doing with a staff like this in the first place? I've seen this lady someplace before! Isn't she the jaw droppingly large strawberry dessert woman? Oh, yeah! She's her face mother, right? That's right. She was involved in that incident in the Korean village last year, wasn't she? Hey! He was the one who did it! Why does he, he think this whole. Why doesn't he think his whole thought grew before opening his mouth? Yeah. It was one of the case, huh, pal? Was? I don't know. The more we look at this case, the more I feel like that one never ends. She was locked up safe in solitary confinement at the detention center, though. At least we can rule her out of the case. Okay. Pearls to be here. I guess they must have gone to collect firewood. I will have to check out back later. Oh boy. Well, I know what we're doing. Shall I say Never mind. Bye bye. Oh, Pedro! Hey, did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A twin? You can't be serious. This is what told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of the twin. Something about Iris having a twin sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father, a jeweler, I think. A jeweler. Right? I. Just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I have a feeling you say that. Let me guess. Her name is Sally Hartwell, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. First court case, six years ago, it was a green horn. Due to my inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about the, that case? You're not the only one who knows something about Iris and Dolly Hart, though. I checked one of Mia's... Yeah, Mia's. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Dolly was a key witness in that case. Dolly and Terry False conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. I saw jewelry worth $2 million from Dolly's father, jeweler. Five years later after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hartfield, to keep her from talking. Sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dolly's father's second wife. Oh! This is when she entered my life. 
Woman who tried to kill me. Time to Terry Falls die. What happened to Dahlia? Shit, that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? Simple. Dahlia Hearthstone is. What? It's a bog process or a man of interest only historians. So to speak. What? What do you mean by telling your heart don't dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that in reading her file, I need to know the murder case you were involved in during your college years. <gasps> Dolly Hartho was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of me and Faye. <laughs> me and Faye! Me and Faye! At that time, Dahlia. It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. Her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed. Last month. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. You understand now? can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead. Once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. Someone to revive the dead? Wonder. Seems you're not aware of the other connection yet, Edgeworth. What is that? Not Iris and Dolly Hearthstone's mother. What's her mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan. She's Morgan Faye. We're meeting from a branch family to create channeling technique. Did you say current channeling technique? Do you know something about it? Oh, yes. No one's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. The L6 I was caught in the middle of a murder investigation. Police didn't have any leads. Was stumped. That's when they call her in. Very famous to be your medium. The master of a channeling school. You know what happened? With all of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She had powers. They were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 into the case file. You'll know. Of course. I forget. She was the victim in that case. Ezra, you understand someday, then you'll see that the current channeling technique is real. Oh, and not there. Okay, we're heading to the training hall, or not. Okay, I think Lots of more important at this moment, wouldn't you agree? That's right. 
Sorry, Mr. Wright. What about... Ah! Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's see if we have all the evidence. Night of the Crime. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You say you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be true? Yes. That's where I was. Iris, believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe that you're telling me too. But I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. about Sister Bikini, of course. The Bikini. Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. So I left Iris to help... help the acolyte and return to Hazakura Temple. Bikini didn't just see you. She spoke with you. You just talk about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were at the inner temple on the night of the murder. That's... Present, Mr. Ray. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early, so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? You see, it's about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left about 9.40 p.m. I think. I'm sorry, Iris. The line doesn't just suit you. Huh? Now you say you left the main hall at 9.40 p.m., but what do you say didn't add up with this? Is it? Her own testimony. You say you're testifying to the contrary. Don't you remember? You say you rang the lights out, Bell, at 10 o'clock that night. <laughs> Plus, only moments before you rang the bell. We're seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Right. You even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right. I remember. That brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. 10 o'clock of the night of the murder. You were seen in two different places at the same time. Timing told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. Second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hasakura Temple. Only one possible explanation for that, apparently. the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other exp I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. It's crazy! How can that be? It's only one of me. It's impossible. Possible? I wonder. The way you trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. Seems you're trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there's more than one of me. Take that! I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? Twin sister, perhaps. <laughs> That's right. Dahlia Hart, though. Woman I know only too well. No idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But it's no longer. Yes. I know. Your sentence was carried out recently. Wasn't it? Sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now. Is there, Iris? The second you who was 
here at the temple the night of the murder. It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hearththrone. You just said yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo. A training ground of the Turing channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dali's spirit. You knew about it. That's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Dahlia Hearthstone. Now I know who Iris is. She is. The cousins of Maya and Mia Faye. The niece of Misty Faye. And sister of Pearl. Dahlia Hartham, daughter of Morgan Fay. I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that, I spied in a temple I knew. It was my sister, Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. So I suspected. The Iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hartham! Why didn't you tell me this before? Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? Because I must get in the way of what she was trying to do. You betrayed her once before. Can't do it again. Betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I have to accept it. Except that I may be found guilty. The only way. Talking about. Any some more deeper lore, folks. You know about it. Tell you, Mr. Wright. About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago. It's the start of it all. It's what started her path, her down, that twisted path. Started to commit crime after crime. In the end, she lost her life. All well, because you betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. Well, I helped plan the whole thing. What? I got scared. I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars! From your father! That's awful! I promise... I promise that I help. And... I didn't do it for the money. Huh? Revenge. Her father. Revenge? What do you mean by revenge? She was a hideous man. Who threw her mother away. And sent her to hell. about Morgan Fay. Her mother was the eldest daughter the main branch of the Fay family. The Fay family had a lot of influence in many business and political circus at the time. As the eldest daughter, my mother was sent to inherit of that of, as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. The power but his plan backfired because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the massive current. That would be Missy Faye, Maya's mother. Before long, the credibility of the current position hit rock bottom. The master, Missy, Missy Faye, made a terrible mistake. The old six is there. That happened. Our father took me and my twin sisters away. 
leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive, and that he had no reason to stay there. That's when you came here, to Hazakura Temple. Yes. The woman my father took, as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I... And no place in his new family, you see. Oh. I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her. Being rejected by her own family. I heard she's been very bad batter. Spiritually and emotionally. I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I've asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident. Everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dolly Hearthorn, poisoned the lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student. Have you heard anything about him? He told her. Well, she did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. Let's see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright! There's so much to investigate! Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. Suppose I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearls. Cyclops. Five of them. They're here. Look at that. They really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, it's neat. You're too late, Nick. You came here for one of our potatoes. We already polished them all off. I think I pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out oh, what Pearl's hiding. Alright. Pearl. It's time. After dinner on the night of the murder, we were supposed to be in Elise Dinam's room, reading a book together, correct? Yes, I was so happy when she invited me. But, we didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried I... Had to go! I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. I was going to go to Miss Dinam's room. But she was too worried about something or else. Pearl. On well, the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? You were here, didn't you, Pearl? Like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? Next question is, who or what you were so worried about? I'm going to take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? Okay. We went to this place for one very simple reason. That is this. Take that! Zombies, what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? I knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was a special course. Sign up for your special course! Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you considering how old it is. Young people can't be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those channels. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? About what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. This is still at all. I decided to go and find out what was doing at the inner temple. 
And we're clear now that you went to the inner temple that night, Pearls. Not clear as what happened after that. About what time was it when you heard over the inner temple? Um, it was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. There was so much snow, so I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ring for lights out. For the lights out bell? That's of course the temple's bell is pretty small though, isn't it? That's a really good hearing. I, I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell. That's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. Trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why are you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I... I don't know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. because Eesh. in a row, Maya's not involved. Well, she's not involved in, like, investigation. Even trial. Oh, it is the leather! You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? Tell me you recognize these pieces of paper. Wait, did you? In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls, you were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of, lights out, of the lights out bell. I... I speak just with Nick, you're amazing! The instructions that were found in the incinerator. I think they were written for you, Pearl. Yes. Be careful, must I fall? As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel your spirit. Me? I- No! As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. The last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Picture of her, use it when you channel her. What to do? Ridley Rose, Master of the Fires. As soon as you hear the lights out, Bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearl? Who was you supposed to be channeling? Me. Yeah. I'm just for writing it. Who's the 
really what Pearl's been trying to channel. Pretty obvious what Pearl's supposed to channel. Is it? It's Dahlia Hearthstone, wasn't it? That was the name in the letter. Just I suspected. It wasn't Iris sister who met it wasn't Iris who sister bikini met at the inner temple that night. Dahlia Heart Throne. You know anything about her pearls? You know what kind of a woman Dahlia Heart Throne was? Um, no. Never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. Not so. Pearl doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. Not the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... Whoever was asking you to channel the spirit of someone you never heard of, you must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you follow their instructions without question. Here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Knew it. Pearls. I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? You followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you. That's why. How did you... Figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother. Morgan Fay. Alright, Pearls. It's time you start telling me the truth. It's a nigga. What's she holding back from me? I don't like this. She's just because I'm a child. Huh? You're trying to say I follow these instructions. I'd like to see the proof. What? Because I don't think you have any. Is there anything rather to make carry out those instructions? Just have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do. Alright, Pearls. We both know something carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. You're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. I, I knew it. However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? How do you know that? Could have been an adult. No adult would make a simple mistake like that. A uh, simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought. I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you were given. We must have understood some of the words, and this is the evidence that proves it. Scroll. It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? Huh. What? Why would you do something like that? Do you remember what was written in that letter? You remember what was written in that letter? Oh my gosh, my voice. Bravely roast in the master in the fires of Hades, and bring our vengeance to fruition. But you didn't know how to read those... You didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast among others, right? How'd you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Miss Denim on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I am not very good at reading. Well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, uh, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says bravely. That's kind of a tough word. Sure, Miss Dan taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Maybe it sounded like gravy to me. The only roast I could think of was the food. That's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master gravy from that nice pot roast. To be honest, I didn't think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. I even burned the letter properly as my mother asked me. Asked me. Simple thing. I didn't even do it right. Hey, but how did Pearl got the letter?
It's written in my mother's letter. It said as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Oh my god! Alright, my battery almost. My battery on the phone's almost dying. I was on my way to the end temple, I heard a bell ring. You challenged all your heart throne spirit? No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I never feel like channeling someone. The first time it happened. I tried and tried and tried. Yesterday this morning, the whole time. I just couldn't do it. Don't let your guard. Don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll work out. If you want, I'll come flying through those skies for you. Whoosh! Just like that. I managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I don't know what to do. Is there any other explanation for why you can channel the spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. Not very likely, though. Please tell me what it is anyway. What happened if someone else was already channeling the same spirit? Someone else? What do you mean? Only one of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can totally see a hot chick if she's already taken. I would mean one of the murder. Someone else challenged her spirit before Pearls could. Someone else challenged the spirit of Dolly Hart, though. Failure. I can't even grab my mother's final wish. Your final wish? Yes, this letter. It's my last wish, she said. Make sure you follow the instructions carefully. This letter. I need to find out more about it. First, let's talk about the night of the crime. They go to the inner temple. A pile full of leftover gravy. The gravy? You saw the picture of the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. I'm sure it's the master crane. He said in the letter. Let's see, and then... Well, it was already way past 10 when I got there because of all the snow. I went to the inner temple guest area. Yes, area? Yes. I thought I could wait there until the train was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? Because Miss Maya's main training has already started, and I couldn't interrupt it. I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. Then I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearls. Who cares if you fall asleep? Dude, get away from my conversation. I fell asleep waiting for Iris too. That happened. That's because it was a blackmail. You sent her a blackmail letter, Larry. Not to mention... Suck. Anyway. You found yourself trapped in the inner temple. Yes, when I woke up, it was morning. I'm trying not to cry, but... Let's keep... Rich wasn't there anymore, and there was no one in the train hall. I wouldn't have left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator, then I heat up leftover gravy and... Let off some steam by chucking the gravy in the school while you cry. It must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I always like... They used to leave me behind when I was fell asleep at school, too. Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. Now, Morgan's letter. My mother has gone to a place called a penitentiary. Penitentiary. Yeah. I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. Last month, she told me... The moment we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I had a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great time thing. Now listen carefully. And I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. My mother's always nice to me. I love her very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fae Clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Miss Maya's part of the Fae Clan. So I had to be good for her, too. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? I... I 
Guess so. Yeah. There's a picture with her letter, too. Picture? Of Miss Ellie Hartham. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit. This time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange about my mother's leather. The seal on it was broken. As if someone had already opened it once before. That sure is pretty strange. Wanna open it already? Thanks, Pearls. Really help me out. You're very welcome. My mind is watching over us. I'm sure Mystic Maya will be alright. supposed to say it to her. Huh. Finally figured it out. Figured it out. Have you tried? You finally realize how terrible the crime being painfully obvious is. Go! The entrance to the sacred cabin looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. She's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. It's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because my face is coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about! How do you say something like that? Your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect me and Faye. Two sisters, caught up in the worst circumstances. I... I realize that, but... You were by the... You were the only one who was by their sides. You were the one who could have saved them. I didn't know anything about what's, what's going on! Soundtrack is... Soundtrack is getting canceled. Huh. What did I just say, Trey? Being obvious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow. We'll solve everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all. Be alright, Pearls. I'm sure my eyes alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. Uh-oh. My dear Pearls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Barry's low. Done so well, my child Pearls. No, what have you done? I knew this day would come for you. The blood of my family. No more. Now finally, this time, Master C. My last great wish. Seems I would some time. Oh. Tomorrow? Wait, not tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. Friday? Sit. Sit. Tomorrow. It's the last trial. All of it ends here. I don't know what's gonna happen, but well, we had to find out. Oh, looks like the child's gonna be multiple parts.
parts. That's all I gotta say. Next time, looks like we're going back to Phoenix versus Goto. Let's see how it happens. Anyway, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Threads. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.